AI is making everything efficient. That means if you needed 10 people to do a task today with AI, you would probably just need seven or five. So what do you have to do in order to make your career long lasting so that you are one of those seven or five people that are still required on the job? What are the skills that you should develop and how? In this video, I've laid out all the details to explain how to future-proof your career in the age of AI. In September 2023, OpenAI announced ChatGPT. And this is when people started wondering what the age of AI would look like. And this is 2030s somewhere, where most of what we do today would have been automated and there will be apps for almost every workflow and skill for which we hire today. And we are currently in the middle, in this transient phase where things are changing quickly. Large language models are getting better and smarter with time. We have started to see apps and agents for major workflows and skills. The most important thing about this transient phase is that the nature of work is going to change. And every single industry, every domain, every department will be able to leverage AI in some way or the other. So what will this future workforce look like? What will soon become a required skill besides your expertise in your domain? Understand it like this. Just like you were solving problems in biology, in engineering, in chemistry, in marketing, in sales, using internet, you learned how to solve these problems, how to do web search, how to look up, how to operate on your computer to solve problems in your domains. Just like that, you'll have to learn how to leverage AI to solve more complicated problems in your domain. Your ability to leverage AI to solve problems will soon become a required skill. And that is what is going to make you future proof. The next question is how to develop this skill. So I started charting out all the skills and the kind of courses that one should do, keeping in mind the pace of development in AI, the kind of applications that we are seeing and uh, how things are changing. And data camps courses kept showing up in my search results, which further made my work easier. So I've created this complete roadmap of not just uh, skills, but actual courses that one should consider taking in order to become future proof. Now, the first step in this roadmap is to learn how to code, how to program. Now, many of you would say that AI can code for us as well. But the thing is, in order to understand what AI has coded or even how to make use of that code, you should know the basics of programming. And it will put you in a better position to leverage AI and integrate it in the most intricate manner. So I would recommend that you learn either of these languages, Python or JavaScript. And in order to learn Python, you can head over to DataCamp's course on Introduction to Python, where they cover everything, Python basics, lists, functions, and packages, NumPy. This is for all the beginners who have never coded before. Then you can consider doing intermediate Python as well. Okay, this again, I would recommend that you do at least beginner and intermediate courses on Python. Uh, so you should know how to work with dictionaries, logic, control flow, filtering, loops, and build a project when you are learning these skills. So they also give you a case study to work on where they have first introduced it in the video, what you're supposed to do, then they give you exercises. So this is a complete interactive course where you apply whatever you have learned, which is the best way to learn any new skill. Then you learn about APIs, web servers, okay, how you are rendering an application, a web application on the front end. How does the web work? What are HTTP APIs? What are the different types of status codes? So you should take this course to understand what HTTP APIs are because most of the LLMs are going to offer their solutions as APIs, which will further be integrated into the product. So this will again become an essential course for you to better leverage AI in your solutions, in your products, in your domains. The second step is to understand fundamentals of AI or fundamentals of large language models, how they work, what are the kind of solutions that you can build with them. 
So understanding AI and LLMs, introduction to chat GPT or Claude-like chat-based applications, and further basics of ML and DL. Now this will again become uh, a pick and choose thing depending upon where you are, or which uh, department you are a part of and how they're using it. Basics of ML and DL, if you learn it, it'll further help you in building solutions if you are looking to develop those solutions yourself. So Data Camp offers this AI fundamentals skills track where they cover understanding artificial intelligence, introduction to chat GPT, how to work with them, understanding machine learning, large language models concepts, okay, what LLMs are, how they work, what are the building blocks, how to train uh, an LLM. So you'll understand how a model like GPT-3 has been trained. What does it take to build a model like that? How does it work? And what are the kind of solutions it can provide? Uh, what are the limitations of these models? That's very important because most of us just understand how these models work, but we do not understand where will they fail. So it's not just a magic wand that you can just wave and you know things will start falling into place. Then you have generative AI concepts. So this is again based on your understanding of LLMs and AI. You can further see how different modalities image generation or code generation or audio generation, how all of these will start coming into the picture in order to provide solutions for different industries. The third step is to learn AI for business. Now, this is crucial for people who want to identify gaps or opportunities where you can enhance existing workflows, automate different pipelines. Here, you would need to build three skills. One is generative AI, for business workflows, how to build LLM based solutions, how to identify these business cases and uh, develop solutions for it, and AI strategy, how to strategize with these AI based solutions. Now, Data Camp offers complete skills track called AI Business Fundamentals. A skills track is nothing but compilation of different courses. So, here also you would see that it starts from the basics understanding artificial intelligence and go still implementing AI solutions in business. If you do not want to take the complete track, I would recommend you take these three courses. First one is generative AI for business. In this course, you'll see how to leverage Gen AI to enhance workflows from introduction to building AI solutions, AI for marketing, impact on the business functions, how to measure it, and how to build responsible AI solutions. Then. I would recommend that you take this course on artificial intelligence strategy. This course plays at the intersection of business, data, and AI. So you'll go through different types of strategies that you can build, keeping in mind uh, that AI is going to be the core pillar for your workflows and how to plan for such scenarios. You go through this detailed course. So this will equip you with the skills to assess different solutions and check how resilient they will be in the future. Then we have implementing AI solutions in business. This is again a, a good course in order to do everything end to end. In this course, you first of all identify appropriate business use case. You build a POC. Then you measure the success and finally you evaluate how to move from this POC to a fully implemented solution. So you start with AI, then benefits, limitations, use cases of AI, building a proof of concept, and finally your fully implemented solution. So how would you go? So what does that journey look like? So you learn all the components of building an AI solution. The fourth step is to learn how to develop applications with AI. Now this is crucial for all the engineers and tech enthusiasts who want to build with AI. So this contains three sub skills or three components. First is you should know how to work with APIs. All of these LLM providers offer their solutions via APIs. So this has become a norm. That's why working with APIs is a must. Second is structuring end-to-end -end applications. Now, while building these solutions, you will obviously need to know all the other basic elements, basic engineering principles. 
from user interaction to data storage to building services using different frameworks and then deploying those solutions as well so end to end applications using llm ops as well third main component is how to leverage your existing data using retrieval augmented generation pipelines so this is a technique where you can leverage the data that you already have to provide more personalized experience to your users now in order to learn all of these skills data camp offers this skill track dedicated for just developing ai applications where they start from working with open ai api they provide a project to work on ai ethics course so if you want to take this you should learn about how to build more responsible solutions prompt engineering for developers if you want to build with open source large language models you should know how to work with hugging face so this again becomes a very important course introduction to data privacy how to maintain data privacy within your solutions developing ai systems with the open ai api so here we have function calling so this particular chapter is more important and then we have introduction to embeddings now embeddings is going to be a core topic that you should spend a lot of your time understanding because this will enhance your retrieval mechanism your solutions for semantic search and uh, you know recommendation engines which further relies on the foundations uh, of uh, this topic and lastly developing llm applications with the langchain so for the third point rag pipelines you would learn how to build different chains agents and rag pipelines within this course so if i had to recommend courses working with open ai api this course then work on this project then i have working with hugging face this is again very important because many companies would want you to work with open source data sets large language models uh, so on and so forth then working with embeddings this again is very important for you to understand the concept of embeddings and further improve your solutions for downstream applications lastly developing llm applications with langchain so learn how to build chains agents and rag pipelines from this course now the last step is going to be an advanced step again not necessary for you to learn but if you want to build your own llm or if you want to fine tune your llm for whatever use cases then you would need to come at this final step you should be ideally an ml practitioner here then building an llm from scratch you should at least know the fundamentals and how a model like gpt3 or gpt4 is trained and further the last step is going to be fine tune an existing llm now data camp is again here to the rescue helping you with all the required skills to learn how to develop these large language models so you start from the very basic of uh, introduction to deep learning with pytorch where you you know start from building your first neural network how to adjust hyperparameters tackle different classification and regression problems so this is the beginner level course then you head over to intermediate deep learning with pytorch where again you learn about different architectures cnns rnns lstms gru's which led to the development of transformer architecture and further you know uh, the llm architecture so this will take you to that step then deep learning for text this will further help you to build solutions for text based problems and lastly introduction to llms in python so what are the different building blocks of an llm how a model like gpt3 is trained all of those questions have been answered within this course explaining you the transform architecture how to code that uh, attention mechanism all of those topics have been explained within this course and then you get a chance to work on these three projects analyzing car reviews uh, using basic deep learning then we have a code along exercise to fine tune your own llama 2 model so llama 2 is again an open source model that you can uh, fine tune and llm ops essential so in order to put your solution in production and monitor it to make sure that all the operational needs of an llm are being met so in this blog they explain everything about llm ops all the essentials uh, what does it take to operationalize a large language model in production what are the key components 
how to deploy these models, how to monitor them, what are the advanced techniques, how to do CI CD continuous integration and development with the LMs as part of your product or your engineering solution. So all of these three skills are going to be uh, required if you are developing your own LLM or you're fine tuning one. Again, a very advanced skill. Not everyone would uh, want to do it, but if uh, you are a practitioner, because this is again going to be a core research skill uh, in many ways, so you should uh, you know consider spending time learning this as well, because this will set you aside from uh, all the other engineers. Now I know that I'm sharing a lot of these courses, I, all the links, etc. Everything is in the description below, and you don't have to buy all these courses. You just simply have to get the Data Camps subscription, and you will have access to all of these courses that we have discussed. All skills track, projects, resources, code along videos, everything. Even better news is they are currently running a flash sale of fifty percent off on their website. So you can just get the subscription at half the price and start learning. Amazing. I hope you found this useful. Comment down below if you've got any insights and what you are learning. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Until then, keep learning and keep building with AI.